everybody, thank you for joining me, Krista with Imagine That Scrapbooks and Gifts for ITTV Presents Try It Out Thursdays, week number 48. We are another week closer to our one year anniversary of ITTV Presents, so we're super excited. This week what we're going to be doing is working with the We Are Memory Keepers gift, ba gift box punch board to be making this cute little gift box, great for all sorts of different projects. But before we get started on that, I do need to pick a winner from last week's ITTV Presents. And our week um, 47 winner is Miss Susan Schneider. If you'll please email us at imagine that scrapbooks at yahoo.com. We'll make sure we get our prize out to you. And if you'd like to be a winner of this week's ITTV Presents, don't forget to leave a comment this week on this week's video, either on Facebook or on YouTube. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, let's go get started. Okay, so for today, what I'm going to show you is the We Are Memory Keepers gift box punch board. Now, I've shown you several of the other We Are Memory Keepers punch boards, so this is going to have a lot of similarities compared to those. Of course, this one is going to make a gift box. Some of the similarities it's going to have, of course, are your score lines, your punch, and of course, your place to store uh, your score or your bone folder. Sorry. So today, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be making a box that is two and a half by two and a half by two and a half. So in order to do that, we need to start out with an eight by eight paper size. So if you see here, it does give you all the different sizes of boxes you can make, as well as their starting paper size. But then next to it, we have our start line and our diagonal line. So what we're going to do is for our eight by, let's see, um, our two and a half by two and a half by two and a half, we're gonna start by an eight by eight, and we're gonna score on, start on line medium, and diagonal medium. So if you see here, you see your start line is right here. You have your vertical, your horizontal, horizontal, and your diagonal. So the first thing we're going to do is flip out our extender here, and you can see all of the directions are right here for you. So it's easy to follow along with it. So of course, the first one is select your box size, which we've already done, trim your paper, which we've already done, flip open your score extender, Align the left edge to the small, medium, large, or extra large start line. Well, since we are going to be doing ours with the eight by eight, two and a half by two and a half by two and a half, we're gonna start at the medium, okay? So we're gonna line it up right there. This gives us our start line. Then we're going to score horizontal, vertical, and the medium line. We're gonna rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise and keep repeating those steps. Uh, then we're going to flip it over, punch the additional notches, and keep moving. So what we're going to do is we are going to start here. We're going to do the medium. Okay. Then we're going to do our diagonal line. And then we're going to do our horizontal line. Okay. So now we're going to rotate it. And we're going to keep going. Now the nice thing with this scoreboard, like many of the others, is it's really kind of um, fail proof. You can see as I was going over here trying to find that score line, it's not really going to score it until I actually hit that score line. Okay, so we're going to rotate it again, we're going to do our start line, our horizontal, and our diagonal. And we're going to rotate it one last time. Start line, horizontal, diagonal. Okay, so what we have is all of these pretty scores. Now, what I should have done when I was going through here is actually notched mine, so let's get it back going. We're going to notch it real quick. Now you can do the notches um, as you're scoring, or you can do them all at the end, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Just whatever works easier for you. Uh, it just kind of depends on my crafting mood, which way I go. So now we're going to have to flip it over and do those other notches. Okay. So basically what this is doing is cutting out those corners so you don't have to have a pair of scissors handy in order to do that. Okay, so now we have all of our edges and 
um, items notch. Now we're going to flip it over and use the back part of the punch because all of these are a double punch. And this is going to give us that little edge to where we can put our box together without having to use any type of adhesive. Okay, now last one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take and score all of our lines. I'm sorry, fold our score lines. Then I just kind of go through and rotate until I've hit all of those lines. Now these I just kind of pinch together and crease. Okay, and now it's time to build our box. So what we're gonna do is just squeeze it all together like so and interlock these notch parts. Now, how easy was that to make a fun custom box for any gift or a paper crafting project? But here's the really neat thing. You can actually use these almost like explosion boxes. How fun would that be to have that all decorated with either a note or a card, stamped images, or even photos? Makes a great gift. You can also watch out um, some of our ITTVs where you can add these where they have a window. So you can use this as a cute treat box or a cupcake box, whatever you like. Well, I hope you guys had fun watching the gift box punch board and we'll see you next week.